about to go live. Okay, Luca, Marina, um, thank you so much for doing this talk. Um, I think you need to perhaps introduce yourselves uh, and explain a little bit about the book that you've written and then do your presentation and then we can you can receive questions from the audience. Okay. Yeah. So I, I must say immediately something. We don't speak so English so well, okay? So you will be patient. I will translate something for Luca <laughs> if necessary. None of you. And um, okay, we will do our best. <laughs> so. Okay. Vado. Yeah, Vado. ti chiesto sì. di presentarci un attimo. Ah, così, okay, eh? presenta tu. Allora. Okay, so um, Luca is a writer before being a restaurant owner. He had a, so he had a family restaurant in Parma. His father was a, a Michelin star chef. And then um, after making his studies and um, his experiences, he has joined his father in the business, in the restaurant. So he has learned from, from his family, from his father. And um, in the meanwhile, he also wrote different books on different uh, matters. Um, but being a restaurant owner and having an experience in, the, in restaurants managing and uh, growing with his father and his family, um, he wanted to write something about the restaurant world. So he has written this uh, book, uh, which is called uh, um, Hashtag Mondo Ristorante, so Restaurant World. And he has um, talked about his experiences. So there are nice stories about what he has uh, lived in the past with his family and now with our restaurant, because now we own a restaurant together in Parma. And then uh, he um, has explained how the food business has changed in all these years. So since his father was uh, working, was a chef and how it is today, because we see the difference. Um, and we see the difference in the, in the food and we have noticed how much uh, the multinational and the business uh, have um, get involved in, in, the, in the restaurant business and uh, not always in a, in a good way. Uh, we have noticed uh, how the, the, the business, the, the, excuse me, uh, uh, the world of food and restaurants and chef has become a business because we know everywhere there are these master chefs. So chefs are like stars. Um, and so the, what, what Luca wrote in his book is about the responsibility of this chef, which are now stars, to communicate to people and they can communicate good, appropriate things about food, or they can uh, just take the money for the ads they do for chips, like uh, many chefs do nowadays. So I think the introduction was clear. Definitely. <laughs> the restaurant world, the restaurant world uh, today is a, is, a, is a main issue for the media. And uh, it has never been in history such a big issue like today. Uh, this, fact, it, uh, this fact is an important occasion for uh, those uh, who operate in this business to be an intermediary between food producers and consumers. <clears throat> the restaurateur today must uh, take uh, the responsibility to be virtuous and give uh, to the consumer uh, true information uh, about food production and, uh, uh, and guide him in his choice, guide him, guide the, 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 um, the consumer in his choice, the most important thing. And then, um, this, this, is, this is today worldwide very difficult. 
because of the sponsors that got into into the restaurant show business and uh, because of the contracts uh, that tie the, the world of food to the mass restaurants and uh, other categories, for example, uh, food chains, uh, schools, hospitals, etc. For fortunately, fortunately in Italy there are still uh, there still are uh, laws which allows small producers to exist. Uh, in, the, in the rest of Europe, uh, not uh, uh, like in Italy. And uh, I, I, I understand that we understand. Uh, that uh, uh, is, is very difficult for an American or an English restaurateur to promote small local food production. And um, we, we, we understand that. Uh, but uh, uh, so um, in, it, it would be easier for an Italian restaurateur who is in contact with uh, many small local pro pro producers. So uh, like... Uh, um, vegetable pr producers uh, or uh, cheese producers or winemakers, little, uh, small winemakers, etc. Um, uh, for, for, for these reasons, for these reasons uh, responsibilities for a restaurant owner in Italy are bigger, are bigger than the rest of the world. And uh, he shouldn't for uh, no reason back out of this important duty. Uh, as, I, as I wrote in, in my book, uh, hashtag Mondo Ristorante, hashtag Restaurant World, the restaurateur must be today brave, educated, philosophically independent, and, and uh, not sponsored, most of all not sponsored, in order uh, to fulfill this assignment. Moreover, he must uh, choose... Uh, uh, sustainable food producers, uh, since today sustainability is the most important task. It is more important uh, uh, sustainability than the show and then the technique. technique. You know, um, in fact, uh, after Ashtar Mundo Ristorante, my staff and I have written the first restaurant and producer guide. Uh, in occasion of the celebration of Parma City of Culture 2020, which uh, is based on sustainability more than show cooking. In relation to this, Parma, uh, this is, uh, Parma is our town, our own town, uh, which is UNESCO capital of creative gastronomy, as uh, some very good pro pro products, uh, two products, uh, most of all uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, better known uh, uh, as uh, Parmesan cheese, and the Parma ham. For example, the guidelines for the production of these two products are written by the resp respective uh, uh, consortium. Uh, which uh, do not guarantee uh, the, the real quality, the true quality, the ancient quality of the products because of uh, homologation need for worldwide distribution reasons. The restaurateur, uh, the restaurant owner or the, or the chef in his role of uh, specialist and uh, as a charismatic figure in the, in the food show business, uh, should select the real quality products among the several producers and help the consumer to recognize and choose real quality, true quality. Uh, we can, I think uh, uh, that uh, we cannot wait uh, until politics will protect uh, small producers, because the consumer is the first self-responsible. Uh, it must be virtuous, educated, and uh, make some little additional efforts uh, to go and buy from uh, little uh, small producers. Uh, in Italy, there are a lot of small producers uh, near our, 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 our home, our houses. No? 
Mm-hmm. Near town, yes. Yes, in, in, in every town, in every city. Uh, so the restaurateur should, uh, should help the consumer in the choice, thinking uh, to his business, uh, not as a, his own business only, but as a sustainable business for everybody. Oh, have you gone? No, no, we are here. Oh, We're here. I'm here. We would like to leave a space for discussion and questions. Yes. Okay, I, I have a question, Luca. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I have a question about this idea. Could you tell us a little bit about how large the restaurant business is these days. You were talking about it covering schools and hospitals, food production. Um, and this feeds into the type of, even just the type of coffee that is used. Quanto è grande il business dei ristoranti, tenendo conto che appunto abbiamo parlato anche del di, di ospedali, di immense, di, di grosse quantità, ad esempio parlando del caffè, sì. del business. Vabbè. <laughs> Which I think you need one of, a coffee. Uh, is, the, is, the, is the biggest uh, business in the world, after, only after the, the um, petroleum, the, the oil business. Re the restaurant food production or coffee? The, the, coffee. the coffee, coffee. Coffee. Coffee is the second trust in the world for, for business. It's the second trust in the world, the coffee business. And okay. so the coffee producers are using star celebrity chefs and yeah. restaurants to promote their mm -hmm. products. Sì. sì. Eh, cosa posso dire di questo? Puoi dire mm, il fatto che, che, che utilizzano caffè, vengono sponsorizzati e poi sì, entrano dico. delle guide. Ok. Uh, Charlotte, you, you, you would, would, you, would you like I, I speak about, uh, about sponsor, sponsor, sponsor uh, uh, restaurant sponsor multinational and... Uh, I think that would be interesting because I, I think people don't know about it. Eh? Sì. Ok, uh, in Italy, allora, the, the business, business of coffee business, in Italy uh, there, are, there is Lavazza, for example. Lavazza is, is, is um, considered uh, a virtuous producer is um, by by the people Italian people uh, is uh, Lavazza is uh, a sim symbol of made in Italy but uh, we know Lavazza uh, a quante produce produce produces produces sì sí. sí, Lavazza produces uh, a, a bil billions of uh, caps capsule come si dice capsule so, capsule billions of capsule not uh, Compostable, non compostable. So unsustainable. So, so Lavazza is unsustainable. And, yes. uh, and Lavazza is the main sponsor of uh, the, the main restaurant guides in the world. Lavazza and no, not, not so Lavazza. Not only Lavazza, uh, not only Lavazza but uh, Nestlé. So Nestlé uh, with uh, Aqua Pan, Aqua San Pellegrino is the main sponsor of the best uh, 50 restaurants in the world. It's a is a is a an, 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 in, an incredible business uh, of uh, sponsors uh, for uh, a, a, a pull drop. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there are many chefs and many restaurants in in Italy uh, all around the world. Uh, not virtuous because uh, are sponsored by this uh, uh, enormous uh, multinationals. 
So the problems that are the guide that the, 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 book, the guide that we uh, normally read for choosing a restaurant or the star Michelin star restaurants are restaurants which are not free because they have sponsors. Uh, they um, they are obliged to use uh, certain waters from multinational and certain coffees and to promote them. So they, uh, at this point, they will never promote uh, sustainability. Also because the chef, the chef of these restaurants are, are very famous and, and they have sponsors. They have sponsors, so they cannot uh, promote in their own restaurants quality, real quality, or quality of small producers. They normally promote products from multinational. So what uh, Luca was talking in his book is about also the problem of homologation because wherever you go in any three-star restaurant, you will eat the same fish um, sent by the same, uh, let's say, producer, fish mm. uh, company that catch the fishes and they sell to different restaurants or the same meat, or the same coffee, the same water. Yes, but uh, this this uh, this this was uh, a problem of the past year. Now uh, is the two thousand nineteen. Uh, we 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 focused on problems. Now now we have to to uh, keep out catch out. Come si dice <laughs> trovare? <laughs> to find out. Yes, we have to find out solutions and. Uh, um we we have to 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 focus we have to focus on uh, solutions and uh, in the role the, on the role of the restaurant owner on the role virtus role of the restaurant owner aggiungi qualcosa May I ask a question? Mi scusi, non puoi parlare italiano, ma grazie mille. It was very interesting. My name is Rick. I live in Canada. Um, first of all, just when I was a young man, I used to watch the films of uh, Bernardo Bertolucci. So ah. it was always my dream to come to Parma ah. and eat your food. Um, there was this, anyway. But look, um, in Canada, we... Um, Bernardo Bertolucci is top. He's what? Top. Top. The top. top film director. Yeah. He was my... He was the last hero of my youth. <laughs> um, I, uh, in Canada, we have... Um, in my city, Toronto, which is very diverse, we have many restaurants. Um, and uh, restaurants are a, an important part of bourgeois life. And they're like fashion. Uh, you know, 30 years ago, uh, 40 years ago, everybody with money went to a steak restaurant, and then everybody ate at a French restaurant because we thought French cuisine was good. Then, um, and now, of course, uh, there's much more diversity and uh, lots of ideas of farm to table and so on. But it seems to me that these are fashions for a very select group of society. Um, some people are very interested and some people, of course, put it on like they would put on Prada. Um, and what do we do about restaurants that can lead the way in the way that you're talking and, and uh, star restaurateurs who can help to cultivate a fashion, but how does that become something that's not just for an elite? This is a question. This is a question we already had in the past. Hai capito la domanda? Sì, ma rispondi tu. Okay. Um, well, it, uh, we think that good food and good quality is not always. Uh, big money. Uh, we, very, we, very often uh, people go to restaurants and spend a lot of money 
only because it's passion or only because uh, there is a famous chef uh, but not really um, it's very difficult to find a restaurant where what the cost is made by quality by real quality and what we have found out is that um, not always real quality is more expensive because we have found out that simply by choosing products for our restaurant. Um, and also what we think is that if you want to have a good quality, yes, it's true. Sometimes a good quality corresponds to a, a higher cost simply because, for example, the Parma ham in our restaurant, we have a, rest, uh, a Parma ham, which is 52 months aged. So, of course, it's more expensive than what you can find in a supermarket because in a supermarket have mountains of Parma ham, probably not even made with pigs from our region. And uh, they have been aged for 12 months. So they are less expensive. But, um, you know, it is not expected and it, it is not in our, uh, in the culture of my father and my grandfather to eat ham every day. It's because today people want to eat ham every day. So we have to change our minds and think that special product needs, needs to have good quality, needs time and they are more expensive and we shouldn't eat them every day. So the time you go to a restaurant, you know, in that restaurant, have a good Parma ham, it will be more expensive of what you buy normally in the supermarket, but you shouldn't buy it in the supermarket normally. Mm. You should wait to have a, something good. The mm. same for the Parmesan cheese and mm. for many other products, for the fish, for example. You know that now they, uh, how do you say, allevare, Charlotte, help me. They're all farmed. They're farmed. Uh, they, they grow the fish, you know, and they all have the same taste and they cost nothing. So now people... They grow the fish? Yeah, they grow fish. Yeah, and do they, do they hunt the tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I answer, but, you know, it's just because we want to have everything every day. So... And, no, I, I, under, I, I understand that. It just seems to me that the challenge is to make this something that is not simply a, um, a fashion for the elite. Because food has become a fashion as well. I, and I, I noticed that in, in Canada. Um, so there's a group of people who would never eat anything that wasn't organic, that wasn't farm to table. Their, their tastes have been cultivated. But... Uh, and I think that's a good thing. By the other hand, I think they use it as a way to distinguish their status. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, I agree. Uh, what you found with your experience for looking for local producers' food is that it takes more time to find them, but it doesn't cost more in the long run. Oops, we lost it. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Okay, looking for f good food from local producers takes time, but does it cost more money to buy? No, from our experience, not. Not everything. Of course, as I told, you know, for example, vegetables or um, meat, it's not more expensive. So it's a, a myth. It's a, a, a myth it's that a myth. food yes. costs more. It's a myth. Also because, I don't know for you, but in Italy, in our region, but also in other towns, there are a lot of markets where farmers do sell directly their products. And uh, having not in between the supermarket, first of all, you can choose what you want. Because in a supermarket, the supermarket choose for you. No, but if there you can choose the producer you want, and plus it's less. Sometimes it's less expensive. And the price. Yeah, of, if, if, you, if you spend if you spend more more time to to go 
to a, to a, little, to a small produce, producers um, uh, psychologically uh, you you will buy uh, just uh, uh, just uh, what you need uh, when when you when you buy uh, food in the supermarkets uh, psychologically you buy you you buy more than you you more than uh, that you need oh more than, uh, you know more than that you need and the other thing you, is you, you have to spend uh, your your um, you op optimize uh, spend better and spend better your time to go to small producers to go to little markets little uh, uh, country markets we have to we have to we have to stop uh, the, the, finally we have to stop to buy um, in in the in the great uh, in the um, in the in the markets in the supermarkets in the in the great uh, distribu distribution uh, of um, uh, um, uh, hello? Luca, uh, yeah. yeah, hello. <laughs> okay. We don't see you, that's why. But well, um, we um, I, I, I know why you don't see me. I'm quite dark. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to shine the light on me. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> no, any luck? We can see, we can hear you. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> no, mi devi ascoltare la domanda. Oh, oh. Just a moment, just a moment. Okay. Please. Oh, Please, just one second. Any hope? Excuse me, we are trying to have a better connection. We are not in our home, so we are doing our best. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Sure. <laughs> okay. Wow, uh, you have uh, a wonderful... So, so do, you, do you see me now? When, yes, I can uh, see you. You have a wonderful necklace. I've been, I, I've been trying to wash myself a lot lately, but <laughs> I'm still in fanciful, but... <laughs> My name is Nelson. I come from uh, uh, Kenya, from the Maasai tribe oh. of Kenya. Uh, thank you so much, Aluka, and you are... Um, uh, Marina. And Marina, for the good work you're doing, especially. I was so impressed uh, by your statement that, in the end, sustainability is what matters, not just business and... Um, being a business owner or a business manager, but in the end, uh, doing the right thing for the world for sustainability is key. So I just wanted to know the kind of challenges that you are facing in running a sustainable restaurant business and what you are doing to overcome them. I'm, I'm sorry because <laughs> we couldn't hear so well, so I, um, if you can repeat, yeah. But, le, Louis, um, Nelson ha chiesto, ah, okay. mi senti? Nelson ha chiesto le, le sfide che avete per fare questo discorso di sostenibilità. Sì, sì, sì. Ok. Ok, uh, the, the first challenge uh, for us is uh, to stop uh, uh, 100% to, to buy from uh, the big, distribution. big distributions and the food industry. And, uh, and in our restaurant, uh, we, we, have, uh, uh, we have reached that, that goal uh, def definitely. Just so, mm -hmm. right? Okay. You hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. uh, this is the first goal, and uh, we hope. Uh, 
that uh, many other restaurants uh, could uh, could seguire uh, come si dice follow yes could follow this example because uh, we 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 written uh, we we made this guide uh, the, the guide is uh, Parma 2020 best restaurants and uh, food producers and uh, we we uh, we have um, uh, prized uh, our best restaurants with uh, with a symbol the symbol is rr uh, it means uh, uh, ristoratore resistente so resisting uh, restaurateur or resisting host or uh, rebellious <laughs> rebellious uh, restaurant but uh, the symbol uh, um, that prized the restaurant is rr and uh, we we come si dice abbiamo dato we gave we gave this symbol uh, to five restaurants in the, in the city of parma uh, this this restaurant uh, are uh, not sponsorized uh, they they have a uh, hundred percent sustainability uh, um, about uh, the um, uh, approvisionment in the choice of, of, the choice uh, of food, uh, not a big distribution and not uh, food industry. Uh, this restaurant uh, are uh, totally plastic free, and uh, this restaurant have uh, uh, arredamento furniture. Uh, furniture uh eco compatible sustainable, uh, sustainable furniture. furniture and they and uh, they uh, uh, have um, a part of um, uh, energized uh, furniture no, energy. energy energy furniture uh with uh, sustainable um, or uh, sergeant come si dice origine from from a uh, uh, renewable sources for sustainable origins we have prized five restaurants and uh, so uh, we hope uh, to to go on and uh, and made uh, and make uh, a national guide a national restaurant guide based on this uh, on this uh, uh, come si dice uh, this is kind of valuation this is kind of valuation and uh, for for restaurants uh, and we hope the we hope uh, many restaurateurs, uh, many chefs uh, could uh, could follow this example, and uh, and, and and so. Poi, fortunately, my book Mondo Ristorante hashtag Mondo Ristorante had, 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 um, had received uh, a, a very important prize in Italy, the Premio Bancarella. And uh, this uh, this kind of visibility uh, could uh, could um, could uh, come si dice favorire no favorire help. il focus uh, could help to 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 make to make uh, the focus on uh, uh, on this kind of uh, challenges. So, I I want I would like to add that there is another challenge which is let the consumer our customer in this case or the customer of a venue restaurant who, who would like to try to be sustainable to let your customer understand that uh, if you choose products which are not distributed uh, distributed everywhere in big chains or supermarket they probably will not be available every day so let people understand that you cannot have uh, tomatoes, for example, in winter uh, or have every day a filet because a filet is a very special part of, uh, of the animal and you cannot have it as if it, if, as if it was not an, an end to that, okay? So it's, you cannot find it really every day. So probably the education of the consumer is also a challenge. On the only sustainable fish... Yes, yes, and the uh, so only sustainable and, and, and fish, and so uh, non in estinzione, come si dice? Um, how do you say Charlotte? How do they're, you not, say Charlotte? they're not going into extinction, so sustainable yeah. fish. 
yeah. So not on Branzino, Charlotte. Not Branzino, not Orata, not the shrimps. <laughs> okay, just poor fish. What are those fish that are sustainable? Ah. Uh, <laughs> now it's difficult to tell the name, but there are fish. You know, if you um, so if you're talking not about to grow grown fish, but catched fish. Uh, there are local fish, for example, in Liguria <laughs> or in Toscana, or uh, uh, so for example, they come from the Mediterranean, and you can only fish them in certain period. So, for example, these days uh, we are they are delivering us uh, dentiche because it's a good period for dentiche. Or if you think about uh, the anchovies from the Cantabric Sea, there are special season in which they can catch. And then they cannot catch in other seasons, just to, to protect the species. Uh, then, then uh, si dire, il pesce, il pesce nobile, no? Come si chiama? Brazzino, rata, come si chiama? No? Uh, Charlotte, il pesce nobile, no? The, no the, the, the best fish, the fish that you, that you find in uh, Star Michelin restaurants, uh, so Branzino, Orata grown uh, va ad alimentare come si dice alimentare cioè alimenta, alimenta il, merc il mercato dei mangimi ad esempio no ah sì it, it eh. makes it makes the the market of uh, the, the market and the industry and the industry industry of uh, food for animals grow yeah which is uh, not really sustainable So then uh, we, we eat uh, fish, but we eat uh, antibiotics uh, and uh, a lot of uh, chemi chemical uh, elements are inside the fish. We don't see you anymore. We hope you are still there and still uh, online. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, my, okay. name, my name is Peter. I am a consumer. And I just it occurred to me, are there... Uh, Uh, months or, or weeks in the year where you find your restaurant has um, more closure due to the fact that the food supplies are different um, or is this not a it's not a problem in terms of you know your menus and um, and the availability of products it's Actually, it's not a problem because if you follow the seasons, you will always find a, a product, a food that you, that it fits perfectly in your menu. It's it's really never a problem, and because we we have to explain to tell people that if in a certain moment there is not a certain product, they could, they cannot ask us because we won't give. We don't, we don't have, to, as I told you, we don't have tomatoes in winter. We only have uh, vegetables, which uh, are, in, in, are grown in winter. Uh, I, no, actually, that is not a problem. It's our duty. It's our duty to... Yes, to, it's our duty. Yes, it's our duty to operate uh, and to explain uh, to consumer, uh, the, the, the seasonal food, uh, and, uh, and the, the consumer um, have, to, have to learn uh, that uh, uh, some food uh, is, is uh, not present in, in, the, in the restaurant list uh, for all, 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 uh, all, all, all year. For, for the whole those, year, yes. Yes. Yes, uh, because if uh, if if if, if the, the food uh, the same food is uh, is uh, thirty hundred sixty five years uh, day days uh, a year in the in the menu is not a sustainable food, mm -hmm. and it's not good neither. <laughs> Hi, it's uh, yeah. Rick. It's Rick again. Have you? <clears throat> um, Uh, suffered any intimidation from uh, any of the food industry? Not yet. <laughs> uh, because um, it seems to me, I, I, I love your uh, 
RR. I think it's brilliant as a brand and a, something that you know many restaurants uh, could join onto. It's like you know, in forms of music and so on, where there is a kind of resistance and a rebellion, and it's an opportunity to uh, really attract and educate consumers who may not yet know the uh, damage can, created by industrialized the yeah. food industry. I anyway, I commend you on that. I think it's really wonderful. In, in um, the Maasai Mara, we have something that we, we're creating something we call GFC, Good for Community, because of course there are many. Uh, <laughs> what, what kind of fried chicken? Yeah, no, I didn't know that. Uh, but it's the same thing. I mean, there are, you know, the consumers don't know that there are many safari operations, tour operators, hotels that. Um, while present on indigenous lands, don't benefit local communities. So, um, anyway, I commend you on the brand. It, this is a good question. <laughs> so, it's, it's about no, no, no intimidation, but uh, some censura. censura Scusa, Charlotte, so, stavi dicendo? It's, it's about what you contribute to the community as well. So, you were saying that the the uh, resistant restaurateur should be aware of his contribution to his community. Yes. By buying local produce. Yes. So, um, as you say, in one hand, we have a responsibility to community, and the other hand, it's possible that we are like, how do you say, um, Censurati. Censored. Did, did you have any problems from chefs? Yes. Yes, we had. Yeah, no intimidation, but we had chefs problems. Chefs and with... ja ja journalists. And, uh, see. Yeah, yeah, we had. Yes, we had. We had. What we... did they do to you? We had, uh, um, a silent battle against us. Well, we had the visit of a famous chef, which is on uh, ah, see, Luca's yes. book. And yes. he came on purpose because, well, he wasn't very kind about him on the book. So he came on purpose to meet him. Yes. And to say, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck you, Luca. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he really See. did it. <laughs> yes. I, I'm sure you're used to that, Luca. <laughs> yes. Ha detto che sicuramente sei abituato. Yeah, sì, sì, ok, certo. Of course. It was, uh, possiamo dire anche no, ma he was Gianfranco Vissani, you know? Gianfranco Vissani is very yeah. famous. Yes. And he does a lot of advertising. Gianfranco Vissani, in, in the past... Uh, Sponsorized the the um, uh, olio, uh, olio di uh, sì, nuts, di nuts, nuts, nuts uh, oil, nuts, semi, no? Come si dice? Seed, seed oil. Seed oil. No. Seed oil. Seed oil. oil. Was, a sponsor, was, a, was a sponsored by Seed Oil. And he said in, 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 a, in a TV show, that the 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 seed soil is, better. Soil is better than uh, olive oil. <laughs> the next virgin olive oil. So basically, so it's, it's it's incredible. He's so, a, a, a three-star Michelin chef. So basically, multinationals have infiltrated the influencers in the world of gastronomy. Yes. Yes. What do you think about chocolate? Chocolate, uh, allora, natural, allora, uh, one minute me and uh, three minutes no, Marina. No, 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 stay. No, I'm going to ask you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Natural chocolate is impossible to find in the world now. Just from uh, 
three or four small uh, plantation uh, in uh, Sao Tome in Principe or in Martinica or this uh, all industrial uh, and uh, is uh, not natural because uh, the cocoa butter is uh, sold is extracted is extracted sold for the cosmetic business so. and uh, and then uh, they they had uh, other kinds of uh, fat uh, for for made it to made uh, to made uh, to make uh, the the chocolate uh, uh, so anche uh, the, 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 the come si dice high the, the high quality chocolate you you can find is not good is not natural because uh, they it's need not to, a... to put uh, additives to give uh, the flavor additive I and mean, and, yeah. uh, and, uh, and the fat and the Fats. And fats uh, al posto del, del burro di cacao. Ah, instead of, uh, instead caca of cocoa, cocoa butter. butter. Because the cocoa butter is extracted to for the cosmetic industry. Do you have any figures about the restaurant world's Income, economic influence. The, the, the business, the, the, we have idea del, del valore, del fatturato, del, del business and the restaurant. Uh, it's impossible to, uh, qualcosa di, you, uh, uh, McDonald's, uh, the, the business in McDonald's is uh, three, 300 billion dollar so amore ma no se non lo sappiamo non lo sappiamo cioè voglio dire va bene that that's a good that's a good figure to, to get a bene questa questa la domanda che sai meglio tu di noi Charlo <laughs> okay so i i think we're going to go and have our dinner now oh you're lucky <laughs> And so thank you very much for this discussion. It's been most elucidating. And we're all going to be coming to the RR restaurants, which is a brilliant idea. And so we need the Italy-wide guide for there, RR restaurants. Are there any other restaurants owner? I don't know of anyone who actually does that con rigore here. That you I say. wonder if there are restaurants owner among you, not about uh, rigore. Or... No, no. Ah, okay. Vaughan, cousin Vaughan is. Vaughan, are you going to say Hi there. <laughs> Hi, we can't see you now. I am, I am a restaurant owner. Um, okay. And, uh, but I mean, I... Um, I don't think I, I sort of leave it to other people if I'm honest. Ah, okay. So, you, uh, yeah, but you um, I am technically a restaurant owner and I've listened very carefully. I'm also the technician tonight. Yeah, yeah, you told me. And, and Charlotte's cousin. And yeah. um, no, I, very interesting. But um, my, my restaurant is in London and it is quite hard to find produce from small producers. Um, uh, which is something you said, you, you mentioned that that was a difficulty um, in, in other parts of Europe, but it is, it, is, it is harder. But I do provide some food from my own farm. Ah, okay. What do you but do that you? in itself, that is quite hard too. Be why is it hard? Because the, the, law, the, the law does not per allow it or... Well, you do have, for example, if you wish to, say, make your own eggs, there are regulations, a lot of regulations about certifications. Uh -huh. So there is some legislative problem, which means, you, you know, the idea of getting something fresh from the farm, um, which you'd happily eat at home, is complicated by legislation. Um, legislation is really designed for large producers rather than small producers. Yeah. So that's one problem. Another problem um, is growing things is hard 
um, in small quantities. You don't get any scale. And we have we have sheep. We have two hundred sheep. We get lamb. We have asparagus. We have artichokes. Um, we have a few other things too. But it's quite hard. We tried doing a lot, but we found that uh, it was very difficult. Yeah. Okay. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. We have to try. Uh, we have to try harder. Clearly. Yeah. No, but probably it's different for for us in Italy. Oh. Well, I think I think you have a different uh, food culture in Italy. Um, uh, you know, I can think of uh, cheddar cheese is about the only thing, or Stilton cheese. But you know, apart from that, I think you know I can think of quite a lot of uh, uh, foods I identify um, with, sort of. Uh, in Italy, that um, uh, uh, so it is. It is. It's a, it's a difficult thing, I think. Uh, more difficult in England, um, but but you know maybe it's because I haven't really tried hard enough. Okay, thank you. We love cheddar and Stilton, by the way. <laughs> well, when you when you come to London, you have to come to my restaurant then. Ah, we certainly will. <laughs> and, uh, the shop shop here also. Nice. No, we're not in Shropshire. Shropshire. No, 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 don't go to Shropshire. No, no, come to London or Norfolk. Okay. Forget about Shropshire. Come, come to London or Norfolk. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> we don't see you in this oh. moment. Oh. Okay, I think we're going to go and have something to to eat, but I believe that my other cousin, Rick, who's here, is going to make an announcement. So you might as well stay online to hear the announcement. Okay, yes. It involves you. It involves almost everybody. <coughs> yeah. The other the world has to know. Come with me. Yeah, yeah. Frontline, I believe so. Frontline, I don't know. If you have something in the office, my brother Nelson and I, who are co founders of Nashalai, <clears throat> my brother Nelson and I, who are co founders of Nashalai Maasai uh, Conservancy, in the Masai Mara, Kenya, are delighted to be here at Potentino, where we will make the first public announcement of a new partnership between Nashalai and Potentino. Oh. <laughs> well, we, well we, we will be twinning on many initiatives, and also at the famous Stories Cafe, which we are about to begin constructing, uh, where we have had consultations with uh, Vaughn Smith, founder of uh, the magnificent Frontline Club, where we will have a Frontline chair at the Stories Cafe. Because, because while we've talked a lot about food, we cannot forget about the crucial role of journalism and being truthful witnesses to the world that we're in, and so there couldn't be anything more important than having a journalistic <coughs> dimension and competency, competency development and storytelling cap capacity. So we're delighted to be part of this uh, growing movement, which we could almost call RR. Uh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <and that. laughs> yeah, and if you want to mention something about it. Kids, <laughs> so uh, it was a delightful moment, very educative one today, learning about cheese production in a very simple way. We, the Maasai, we do keep a lot of livestock, a lot of uh, short goats and sheep, yet we are not really making maximum use of them. So this is one other great takeaway today, uh, like the simple art of making cheese and then uh, turning it into an economy that can help us in our quest to fight poverty within our community. And thank you once again, everybody, for today. And uh, 
I look forward. I look forward to the evening of our amazing, uh, you know, amazing uh, enter social enterprises. I don't see them in any other perspective. And it has been a wonderful moment. And thank you, Shalom, for hosting us. And you know, God bless everyone. Ashe Oleng. Ashe Oleng. Thank you, sir. Buon appetito. Grazie mille. Ciao, grazie a voi.